I'm doing my last, last, like, pop phase, then I'm just going to go into my Gregory Potter mode. <laughs> I see dreams are green, <laughs> red roses too. But you could, though. I will. Okay, you're letting us know that. that <laughs> yes, is... this is absolutely confirmed. Perfect. So I that, see dreams and be red roses do. I, I see the blue for a you. Sorry, was that a bad way? And I think to no, myself. Sorry. You work alone? No, you, you, you work alone. But I want to do food. You can hit the beat live, you know, little too, maybe. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. You have something else coming out. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cause this is a man who stays working, stays working. So hey, kazi, kazi, kazi. it'd be like that. So Kibanda like come that. comes out in December and now you have Jam Now Simmer Down. Jam Now Simmer Down. Featuring now. Aussie. Simmer down. Put it, put it, put it. Send the love to the ill faded. Body ready to jump now. Simmer down. Jump now. A friend of mine from who met in RBMA in Tokyo, which is the Red Bull Music Academy, a couple of years ago. Right. When uh, were you there? In 2014. That was 2014. Wow, time flies, time flies when you're having fun. Yes, this is true. Wow. And where's Aussie from? He's from London. Okay, super duper. Uh, by way of Ghana. Okay, sick. So actually, he's a house producer, house music producer. Okay. But he sent, he, like, we started working on a, a joint EP. Uh huh. And I sent him like some vocals. Some there's a track I'd worked on with Makadem, and mm -hmm. they sent it to him because mm -hmm. he reached out during like at the early stages of the pandemic. Uh huh. And then he was like, "Yo, we need to work together on something." So I sent him the beat with Makadem, and mm -hmm. then he went and flipped it, and that's coming out. He was later this year. Okay. And then. He sent me like a bunch of beats and mm -hmm. sent the oh, early, early sketches of this new song, Jam Now, Simmer Down. And I heard it, I was like, man, this is exactly what I need. Okay. So I added my own bass lines, guitars, vocals, and horns. Yes. And then it's like we went back and forth. And I think, uh, yeah, it's, the, it's one of the first tracks of my new project that's coming out this year. Oh, well, don't, don't, well, excuse me. You yeah. can't, you can't, you're undressing for us down uh, to the uh, underwear. Okay, can, I'm can sorry, we, I'm This sorry, is a striptease, I'm so, baby. I'm sorry, I'm this sorry, is a striptease. I'm sorry, I'm it's sorry. It's okay, you're I'm excited. Sorry, I understand, I'm I understand. Sorry, I'm Just I'm do it slowly, okay, slowly. Okay, sorry, yeah. More, small, small, <laughs> small. <laughs> small. <laughs> <laughs> Does your old work influence your new stuff? Like the stuff you did with Just a Band, the stuff that you did as a solo artist a few years ago. Do, does that still carry on? It does. It, one, it shows me like how far I've come from, you know. Bet. So, like, I listen to some some of the Just a Band stuff and be like, "Wow, I, how did how did we or were we even able to pull that off? Because we were working off of Fruity Loops, <laughs> yeah, and not a lot of equipment. Right, very basic uh, level very stuff. Basic level, mm -hmm. but like the the sound quality is still good. Right, uh, like we and we were still like pushing the envelope. Okay. And that, no, that, that we know, yeah. Yeah, and that still that still informs how I make music right now. So I'm, I'm always like, oh, okay, I've done that, and like this, I could have improved on this. I could do this better, uh, but there's other ground that I haven't covered. So mm -hmm. let me try cover new ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you kind of strip down to the basics, basically, because you know. Also, that's an interesting thing to mention, which I think a lot of young artists who are probably listening right now yeah. don't realize. And people in general, you actually don't need a lot of fancy equipment to make beautiful and wonderful art. Yeah, you. Yeah, you don't. I. I, I think, man, you can you can make music with with such little equipment. I mean, pots and pans are yeah. just a voice alone. Yeah, exactly. That's very true. And, and maybe that's what gives it the sauce. You know, mm. sometimes when you have all the equipment in the world, mm -hmm. then the sauce sometimes is missing. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Which Kenyan artist have you not worked with that you'd love to at some point? Tony Nyadundo would be interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, Mbogi Genji. Okay. Th those would be top on my list. What What are they bringing to your sauce? I f I feel like I'd I'd wanna really uh, 
work with traditional musicians who, who are really rooted in their thing mm-hmm. and see what that kind of collab would be mm-hmm. and Boggy Danger guys would just be fun mm-hmm. like I, I just want to see where the head is at okay and while out and while out and while out yeah beautiful beautiful stuff I hope I hope uh, it's all let's slow it down you know we just gotta slow it down Blinky's simmer down simmer, simmer down, down now simmer down but do you feel like, as a Kenyan artist, since we have a hard time appreciating our own artists, mm-hmm. but you've done so much sick-ish, mm-hmm. nationally and internationally, yeah. do you did you feel like, oh, home wasn't even really appreciating me like that, and then when you went outside and worked with all these people and did these crazy things and went to Red Bull Academy, for example, yeah. Music Academy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, like, do you think that then, people felt like putting you on because you just made mention of like oh yeah like so many people are tapping in to work with me right now yeah. nationally internationally i wonder if like did kenyans still have time for you in the same way before you went out and did all this other dope shit outside there because like you produce for gold link yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that's that's that kind of stuff uh, that people that, may know may that, not know uh, but yeah. That that's just a fact. So and, I wonder, like, do and, and you get more? That, and that's the homie as well. So it's Bet. like, so do you get yeah. like the phone calls now? Because it's like, oh, he's homies with Goldlink, and he produced for <laughs> him, and like that's my cool. And like, wait, he worked with Pharrell for a second over there. Like, you know, like. Yeah, you know, I think Kenya, Kenya has sometimes an identity issue, and once I, I began to understand that, I stopped trying to like chase after because sometimes it, it becomes a trap. Right. Where it's like, oh man, I need these people to la- love me mm-hmm. so that I can do. It's like, man, I do my thing. And that's a common thing in the artist world anyway. It's yeah. like every performer to some extent is yeah. looking for love out there in, yeah. from a stage. Yeah, from yeah, the uh, yeah. And, and the more I study the history of Kenyan music, the more I understand that there's so many different factors that actually make that a thing mm-hmm. where it's almost like a very transient love, you know? Where it's like, what's hot now, that's what we love. It's not unconditional yeah, love. It's like... So when is your album dropping, my boo? This is a good question. <laughs> absolutely. Spoken like a true artist. You hype us up only to bring us back but down and the, be like, the oh, cool, see, the cool thing, The cool thing is, I, I'm not making any, like, I have like four verses to write, mm-hmm. so, I just need to sit down and write them damn thing. Okay. Do we have like a guesstimate of when it could be like mid year? And I'm hoping for like spring ar- early year. Okay. Like maybe like March or something. March, April. Oh my god, amazing. Okay. Because yeah, it was supposed to be an EP. Things to look forward to. Okay. It was supposed to be an EP, uh-huh. but um, as fate would have it, mm-hmm. as fate would have it, you know life, you just know life thing. Life, uh, uh, yeah, COVID. Bit. Yeah, and also, also like the the way last year had started, I was I was on the road a lot, and then I think I just come back, and then a week later, a COVID happened. COVID happened, yeah. and everything shut down. Right. So and all the gigs got cancelled. No, you know as fate would have it, we were just saying, but I was supposed to leave. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. So, perfect time. It'd be like that. Yeah. Perfect but time that's, to yeah. say goodbye. Yeah. Life, life just gives you that perfect timing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, like, I've, I've had a lot of time, which I normally wouldn't have, to, mm. to tinker, to experiment, to think about, like, what, what do I want to do? What do I want to? Who do I like? Who do you want to be? Who, who, who do, do I want to be? Who, do I who, be? who uh-huh. do I want to collaborate with? Mm-hmm. And I got some really good co- collabs as well. Okay. So, like literally all the collab collabs have, have come in. Uh, so I just think you're just fine tuning and like putting everything and being in a place. And, yeah, exactly. And like, you sound like you're a perfectionist. Am I right? Yeah, with sound I am. With okay. everything else, I'm just like, uh, No, I mean in your craft, in, in what you do. Craft, yeah. Yeah. With, with, with everything else. And food. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. Do you cook? Yes. Oh, bet. What's your best thing to cook? Fish. Oh, okay. Dinner at yours. I love Boom. fish. Is there anyone that you're like dying to work with next? Like, oh my God, on the next project, I'm having such and such. Focalistic. Here. So first of all, 
there is a very big, very dope artist here in Kenya. Are you familiar with Blinky Bill? Yeah, 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 actually. Uh, okay, amazing. I was chilling with Eugene. He was playing me some, some Blinky. He played me some Calligraph. Okay. He played me, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Kenyan music, actually. Okay, amazing. So Blinky actually was here, and he was saying that I asked him when we were doing this hype, yeah. I asked, you know, what... What, who is the artist that you absolutely want to work with next? Like, if you could say next, 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 this is the one, he said you. Is it? Yeah. I'm so, here, yeah, Blinky. Yo, Blinky, I'm here. I'm out <laughs> shit. If it was like next, 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 so you're pressed for time, like, who? Out of the art that you, the work that you've heard so far. I'll probably say, you know, me and Blinky, like, looking at his Instagram. Right. Obviously, I haven't met him. Yeah. I think, like, he seems like a chill guy. He seems like me. Vibes. So, yeah, that would be nice.